Good morning, everybody. Welcome on this beautiful Sunday morning at La Casa de Cristo. This is that which takes place in between the before and the after. This is the interlude. We're talking about the season of Lent because this Wednesday, we already start the season of Lent with Ash Wednesday. We have a worship service here this Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. celebrating Ash Wednesday. And I wanted to bring some panelists in here this morning to talk about the significance of the season and what this means. And I'm going to let all of them introduce yourselves, but I'll start on the, on the end here with Rebecca. If you'll please uh, introduce yourself. And then I'm curious, Rebecca, you have some um, great insights into the season of Lent that I'd love for you to share with our online view- viewers if you could do that. My name is Rebecca Merritt. Good morning. I had just mentioned that my understanding is that Lent was originally a season for people to prepare for their baptisms, which were going to be on Easter or at the Easter vigil, Saturday before Easter Sunday, and that they were given this 40-day time to contemplate and study and be in prayerful preparation for this wonderful event of baptism. Am I yeah, correct about yeah, that? Yeah, absolutely. And this that's a wonderful reminder for us all because uh, this season is about preparing our hearts for the Easter season. And I love how you really highlight more specifically uh, if there are those of us who have, who have really been um, uh, blessed by our relationship with, with Christ and are moved specifically towards baptism. This is a great time to reflect on that. So a wonderful season to, to get ready for a baptism, to prepare for uh, our, our beautiful relationship with Christ. So thank you so much, Rebecca. Jim, w- what can you share with us about the season of Lent? Well, I think for me, it's always been that preparation uh, that we are preparing for the, uh, the, uh, the, the thing with, with Christ, and we find out that his great love and how he loved us so much because he died for us and to uh, really take the time to think about that and uh, let it permeate us as and it and this six-week period gives us that opportunity to do that very well very well and i have the three of you up here specifically because uh, not only are we entering into the season of lent but you are serving the church by being Lenten leaders. And you, are, 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 as well, I know, are a Lenten leader this year. Have Correct. you done this before in the past? Yes, and I really enjoy it. And, and tell us about uh, why that's so important for you, why you participate that in the life of the church. Well, I think, like uh, they discussed about Lent, but to me, a lot of people during Lent, they want to give up something. And to me, I sort of like to add something. And spiritual growth is not never ending as a Christian, and I think getting involved in the Lenten study, studying scriptures even in more detail, is a great way to prepare for Easter. So tell us a little bit about your small group uh, this year. How is that set up? Are these people you know, or people you're going to be introduced to? I know every group is different. Um, My husband and I, we like to go to try every year a group where we don't know anybody, just to sort of get us to know other people and strengthen the community of La Casa de Cristo. People I don't know, or maybe just casually know and sort of grow in our friendship along with our spiritual growth. So you're going to have some new members yes. this year that, that you'll get to know. That's right. such a beautiful thing. Definitely. And uh, tell us about how that works. You meet on a particular day of the week, or kind of give, give us the little logistics of your group there. Sure. Um, every group is different, but our group, we do meet on Sunday after the, at, after the churches. We meet at 1030 in one of the classrooms, and I think we have like 14, 16 people in our group. So it's a great way. I think it's awesome. Wonderful. Jim, tell us about your group. Well, the group that I've been uh, leading or facilitating for years is, is a, my men's group, which is on Thursday nights, Thursday evening from 5 to 6. And we have about 13 or 14, depending on, that, that uh, attend this. But we also have people that have joined us. So we are probably, some wives have come, some other people, some people from the choir have joined so I'm going to have about 20 people and and what I love about it is um, is we all are learning together and to be able to uh, talk about all these things and to talk about things that maybe we're we're seeing for the first time and uh, so it's just to me it's just a joy to to watch that be a part of it and um, that's why I do this all the time. 
And thank you so much for, for all of you for, for your groups, because these are groups that people can join on in and get involved in. And I know there's even more groups online. People can go to the website and just sign up to be a part of a group. Rebecca, you as well lead a group. Tell us a little bit about your group. Yes, we meet um, Thursday mornings at 10 o'clock, which is kind of the traditional time for the, the Bible study. And we are meeting in, in classroom A, and um, at 10 o'clock, we have a, a nice, very nice mixed group. I have facilitated groups before for Lent and always feel that I get more out of it than anybody else. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful to be able to have the, the to, it's, it's a privilege. And I really feel that, as I say, that I get, I get more out of it than anybody else. So it's, uh, it's a blessing, and I'm very happy to be able to do it again this year. Yes, thank you so much. And one thing I always like to share with people, and I, I think you will agree with this, is it's uh, really more about just facilitating the group because the material is provided. Uh, you have a study guide that you get to work through, and, and those questions kind of help prompt and, and lead things, but at the same time, you can take it in whatever direction you wish, if you wish to go in a different direction. Rebecca, have you started to, to look into the material, material yet for this year? Yes, it, there's a lot of material there, a lot to digest. It'll be a challenge to cover all of it in the six sessions that we have available, but it's, it's, it's amazing. You've done a, a fabulous job of putting together a really wonderful and informative study. I was struck by one of the comments you made in the early part or in the kind of the introduction, which is that this is clearly a very intense look at the Apostle Paul, but that it is ultimately about Jesus. And I think that's what I'm going to try to make sure that we keep the focus on during this during this study, that it is focused on Jesus. Absolutely. Well, thank you to all three of you. A reminder that this Wednesday is Ash Wednesday. 7 p.m. We have worship here to kickstart this season of Lent, leading all the way up to Holy Week a little bit later on. And a few ways to get involved, get one of those devotional books, which is available at the church office throughout the week, also on Sunday mornings after worship. Join into a small group. You will not regret it. You'll get to know more people of the church and have a wonderful study of scriptures uh, together. And of course, attend worship with us on midweek and Wednesday nights. Thank you for joining us on this beautiful Sunday morning. This has been The Interlude. <laughs>